Hello, I'm Richard from Town Valley Aquatics and in this video I'm going to talk about the various sorts of frozen food that we have in stock and also what we use them for. Perhaps the most common one, the one most people recognise, is blood worms, red mosquito larvae. Mosquitoes that come out of them aren't red, but the larvae's red. We do these in two different sizes. We do a small one like this, which is approximately half an inch, that's 13 mil, to 20 mil, which is three quarters of an inch, or we do a large size, which is more suited to bigger fish, and axolotls, amphibians and so on, and they're up to 30 mil long. We also do black mosquito larvae, which is what you tend to find in ponds and so on in England. So it's readily taken by fish in ponds and also by many of the tropical fish and also cold water fish that you have in your aquarium. If you fancy trying a few different types of bloodworm variants, we do Duet, which has got the red mosquito larvae and also the white mosquito larvae in. We also do a Turset, which has got three different types got red mosquito, white mosquito and black mosquito. Sticking with the bloodworm theme, we do a quartet, which is red mosquito larvae, white mosquito larvae, daphnia, which is um, commonly known as water fleas, tiny little creatures that live in ponds, in slow moving bodies of water, and also artemia, which is brine shrimp. It's a quite a good mix. Taking it one step further, if you fancy a little bit more variety, we have Tropical Sextet, which has red mosquito larvae, white mosquito larvae, black mosquito larvae, mysis shrimp, artemia, which is your brine shrimp, and daphnia. If you've got a tank which has got a really wide range of fish in, this is perfect. Tropical Octet. It's got red mosquito larvae, white mosquito larvae, black mosquito larvae, mysis shrimp, artemia, brine shrimp, moina, which is a very small creature that lives in water, and also salmon fillet as well, very high in protein. Sticking with the worm theme, we have tubifex, which is a long, it's really like a sludge worm, about can be up like two inches long, very long, slender, thin worm. A lot of discus breeders use it, uh, cichlid breeders, that sort of thing. A little bit too long for small fish, but for the larger fish, it's pretty good food. We also do quite a few types of Artemia, which is brine shrimp. This one's just ordinary brine shrimp. And although it's got a picture of clownfish on, it's a very good food for tropical fish and also cold water fish. We've got brine shrimp artemia which is enriched with garlic which is very useful if your fish are suffering from white spot or have any sort of parasites on the slime they sweat the garlic out and it tends to keep the parasites off sticking with the medicated theme we have brine shrimp which is enriched with omega-3 which helps the fish's gut helps its immune system the last sort of brine shrimp we do is baby brine Basically, a newly hatched brine shrimp, very good for fry and also small fish. One of the more common types of frozen food we do is daphnia, water fleas, commonly found in ponds, slow moving bodies of water throughout Europe. Very good for pretty much all species of fish. You will find that small fish will have a problem eating them though, because the daphnia does have not a proper shell, but quite hard skin that acts as a shell on its back. Small fish may take it in the mouths, spit it out, so it's best to feed slightly larger fish on Daphnia. If you find that your fish are having problems eating the Daphnia, we do Cyclops, which is basically a smaller version of Daphnia. It's a different animal, but it's pretty much the same sort of thing, but more suited to smaller fish. If you have cichlids, you may want to replicate their natural diet 
This does it quite well, cichlid mix. All sorts of plants and animals in there. Basically, it just reproduces what the cichlids would normally eat during the course of their day. More specialized food can be bought for crustaceans, crabs, shrimps, and it's basically a mixture of meats and vegetable matter. Shrimps may also like eating mussel meat. Plex really like to have a go at that as well. And last but not least, for your predatory fish, the likes of piranhas, beef heart. Nice and meaty for them. This video has explained 19 or 20 different types that we do. We also do get other types in from time to time, but most of them are skewed towards indoor freshwater tropical fish. Just as well you can edit things, isn't it? Huh? Well, I forgot what was in that one. There was six things. I can only remember like two things at a time. God, is it? Oh, this one's got eight things in, I've got no chance. I'm terrible at making films, you know. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Take 397.